Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to go over some of the best tweaks you can have for the perfect jailbreak phone setup. Alright, first one I want to show you is called Spring to Mice 2. It can do more than probably any other tweak inside Cydia. And if you want to get down and do uh, just about anything in imag imaginable, you definitely want to check out Spring to Mice 2. Inside Spring to Mice 2, you can change animations, you can change what's on the dock, your lock screen, the size of your icons, how many icons are on the page, you can disable jittering, you can disable being able to uninstall applications, which is, you know, pretty good to have if you have a phone that you're letting a younger child use or something that way they can't accidentally delete something. You can set up five rows and you can set the number of icons per line from one to ten. I mean as you can see right here you can resize your icons and you can hide icons such as uh, newsstand, the spring to mice icon and right here's other icons you can look at if you want to hide any of these you can hide those but be careful because you'll lose one and won't know how to get it back you can disable badges uh... you can tap to clear badges i mean guys there's nothing that you can just about can't do with this tweak it's it, it's awesome it's been around a long time so i'm sure a lot of you probably know a lot about it anyway but i wanted to share it to any of the newcomers check it out dive into it there's really not much you can't do with it I'm going to go ahead and turn it off so it don't get tangled up with some of the other things we're going to be looking at. You can see I've got a long list. And if you notice that my device is a little bit more springier than yours, like when I tap these buttons, you know, it sort of jumps a little bit faster than normal. But I'm getting that by using Hook's Law. And right here is what you got. Those are your settings. Now, if you're going to fool around with these numbers in there, what I would do personally, I would just take a screenshot and you see I got a screenshot set to by tapping the status bar and I set that up by using activator. Uh, so now if I change these numbers and forget what was in there, then I can go back and put it back in. But just to show you what it does, I'm going to change this to, to 900. Okay, now when we go back out, look how fast it gets. It's so fast, I mean, it just about jumps off the page, seems like. And you can play around with that all you want to. That's called Hook's Law. And be careful when you look for that spelling. It starts with a percent sign. Why? I don't know. Up next is one called Action Menu. Action Menu is an awesome tweak to have if you do very much typing, copy and pasting. Uh, you can set up favorites on here like uh, a s email signature or an address you use all the time you can save it in here under your favorites and then just come in here and just simply just pull it up and and paste it in wherever you might need it so let's go in here and open up something new you put just put your finger on there and you see uh, I've, get, I've got a list of things paste history favorites and I got a little arrow today locate and all that you can actually change those to be different things by adding other things to action menu. Okay. Right here's your default actions cut, copy, paste, select all. You can turn any of those on and off that you don't want to use. And you can actually add in more things. But this is awesome to use if you're going to be doing much copy, pasting, or typing on your device. Activator is something I think everybody's familiar with. You can set up gestures to do anything and everything. Uh, if you want to swipe right to open the open up Safari like that, I've got that one set up. And if I tap the status bar, you know it'll take the screenshot. I showed you that one earlier too. All right, guys. Here's uh, let's go. On, well, I'm just going to go right down this list. Allowed is a tweak that speaks your emails, phone calls any kind of notification you get on your phone it like if you're driving this is awesome to have and you get an email you can set it up to actually read the name that the email is from or you can set it up to read the name and the entire email 
so that's up to you how you however you want to set it up and you can see right here you got some voice settings you can change uh, the speech from the United States to any of these different languages on here you can increase and decrease the rate of the speaking and you can delay the speaking before it starts after the notification and down here is where you can override the volume like if you have your device muted but you want to if you and you get a email you want to hear it, what it was this will override it and still speak and it's Bluetooth compatible as well if you use a Bluetooth headset you can use it with it it, it will still come through your Bluetooth headset and down here you got custom formatting like I was talking about you can custom format what you want to hear the title title and the message or just the message or the dynamic entire just the way it comes in or the full message and here's the activator you know you can set up different activations uh, gestures speak the last notification stop speaking you can just set up a number of things and this ain't this isn't going to be a complete review of each tweak I'm just going to show you the brief overview of these OXO is probably the most popular multitask uh, tweak in Cydia right now and it's awesome however it is a paid tweak uh, I'm not sure what it costs now I forgot it's like maybe a couple dollars or something but you can see down here at the bottom you get a screenshot of every application running in the background and if I wanted to close any of these all I have to do is just swipe down and if I want to do two at a time I can do two at a time and I think you can maybe yeah you might be able to do three at a time if you can get your fingers up there but my fingers are too big but anyway what makes this app or tweet cool is you swipe to the left and you got your music toggles if I want to go all the way into my iTunes account or iTunes where all my songs are located I can just tap the little orange uh, symbol there and I can start stop forward and rewind anything from right here and you can see that it's got the name of the song right here swipe left again I've got some more toggles respring Wi-Fi Bluetooth 3G uh, my brightness up and down right here and you can actually set these toggles uh, however you want them to be. You can turn your airplane on and off here, your volume. Uh, I mean, guys, it does just about anything. You got your little flashlight thing here, your location. You can lock the orientation. And it's just about anything you can imagine under here. And if you go under the settings in OXO, uh, and go into the configurations you can put those toggles in any order that you might want like say you want to put respring up here at the top you just fiddle them around like that and you can hide things you may not want down here at the bottom and prompt options um, do not close or remove all you can you can turn that off if you don't want to close apps that way it's an awesome multitask city of tweak I highly recommend it. You will absolutely love it. Icon, that is actually a theme, and we'll skip over that. Barrel is uh, an animation, and I've got it set on random right now. So when I scroll through here, I get a different animation every time I scroll. And I just did that just sort of give you a overview of what they all look like when you flip from one to the other and you can see right there it sort of flickers but uh, it's pretty awesome that one is called barrel and I think it's uh, $2.99 if I'm not mistaken Blurry, blurred NC background you can fiddle around with this if you want to what it does is it blurs out the background in your notification center here you can see that behind there you can still tell that there's writing back there but you can't read any of it okay so we can turn this down okay now it's not blurred nearly as much all right and you can even lighten the color okay now it's just barely tinted okay turn it all the way down you see that so you can and you can actually make it different colors I mean if you wanted it to be blue 
then you could turn it to be blue. But you know me, I prefer the black with a little bit more of the Gaussian or however you want to pronounce that in there. And you can even say disable when locked if you want to. And it says enable this if you want to disable the blurred effect on the lock screen. Like if you have IntelliScreen X that activates notification center on the lock screen. So I've got it with IntelliScreen X and I think it looks pretty cool myself. Alright guys, another one of my favorites is Colored Knob. And that is exactly what it is. Um, down here where you see tap to unlock, that should have a colored knob there. The slider, you can actually change the color of it, but since I have tap to unlock installed, it's not coming up. But uh, And um, tap to unlock, there's no settings, so you just install it and it, and it works. Alright, let's go on down here to Dater. Now, this is a pretty awesome little tweak. And you see right there, it, it, it crashes when you try to open it up. However, it's still working. And what it, what it does is it puts a date and a time on your uh, photograph. And I, and I think that's an awesome, awesome thing to have. You've actually got your time and date of when that picture was made. 217, tw uh, 2013 at 1... 09 p.m. Okay, that's called Dater D A T E R. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it might be 99 cents. All right, now let's go on down to Intel Screen X, which is probably a, the second most popular tweak in Cydia. And you see what it looks like here. It just puts everything in an organized fashion, and you can scroll left and right. Here's my mail. Here's my Facebook, and over one more is Twitter, and you can add an RSS feed from any of your favorite websites that you want. And these things will update when you, uh, as they come into play, there they update themselves. And I think it may have a setting in here that you can set it to update them however you might want them to. Well, anyway, um, it's a pretty awesome tweak and you got this little zero, this little circle in the bottom right corner. If you tap that anywhere, you can, you can write a message and it's just a really quick way to start a message. You don't have to open up the uh, lock screen and go on and all that. Uh, another one of my all-time favorites is called NC Settings. And what NC Settings does is it adds a little little strip on the notification center of different types of toggles. Like here's Wi-Fi, your little flashlight, or no, I'm sorry, that was a uh, ringer. And there's brightness. I'm sorry. And if we scroll on through the little torch symbol will give you the flashlight and for some reason I don't see it I must not have it turned on or something but it's on here you can actually turn your little flashlight on using this little strip here it is flash on right here and then you see you got your flash on. You can you can use it to get in the house late at night. And you just tap it again to turn it off. And that's NC settings and yeah, I think it's pretty I think it's free. Password pilot, guys, this is a must. If you do a lot of downloading in the app store, uh, this will save you from having to type in your password every time you want to install or update something uh, featured let's go in here to top charts and free if I wanted to download this I could just now tap the install app and it'll pop that up now normally you would have to type in your password every time using password pilot it's already in there all I gotta do is hit OK 
and this is the free version there is a pro version where you have some more options I think like maybe it puts in your password like maybe for Facebook and Twitter I'm not sure but I think that's what it does but for my use the free version is all I need so I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't want to install that okay um, password pilot then you got package backup package backup is a way to save your city of tweaks just as you save your applications in iTunes okay by using package backup it will allow you to save all of these tweaks that you see that we have installed on the device here if we had to restore it instead of going back and, re and installing these one at a time I could simply back those up right now restore my device and then go in and you do a uh, restore from the backup and it would put them all back on there for me just with a couple taps instead of having to go in one at a time like I was saying and we went over spring to my eyes winter board is just a way to uh, customize your springboard using themes and I don't have anything installed right now uh, I mean enabled I have pages and um, icon that I use a lot and I've got a video on it I'll try to remember to put a link to it in the description and an annotation here if you want to check that out those are my two favorites and last but not least is Zeppelin if you've been wondering how I got the little apple up here in the top left corner that's how I did it okay you can you can download anything imaginable that you want to put up there in Cydia they have different packages you can install and put whatever you want if you want the little Android symbol up there uh, Apple uh, Batman and you can see you don't have to respring I did install some of the Star Wars stuff there's C there's C3PO and Darth Vader and R2-D2 is over here too um, Superman I like Superman so I think I'll leave it on Superman but guys there are some awesome tweaks grab them I'll have some uh, other video links in the description for the some of them I've mentioned during the video check these out don't forget guys to thumbs up this video it really helps me and come over to iPhoneCaptain.com and keep coming back